Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here from Code with JV channel. Welcome again to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about my favorite editor VS Code themes and how I set up my VS Code themes. So let's get started. As you can see, like this is a pretty basic Angular 7 app is there and like it's loaded with the default uh, tomorrow night's blue theme. So this is uh, the one uh, which is my current favorite. I can show you that. So here you can see like tomorrow night's blue is the my current thing. Uh, but I like few others also. Uh, basically, like I like uh, the winter is coming from uh, John Papa. If you haven't heard about that, so this is the like dark blue variant of that particular theme, and it also look very good. Whenever I do uh, coding, intense coding on the night, uh, I use this theme and it is pretty good uh, uh, for the eyes. And uh, there is one another uh, theme for the night, it is called Night Owl, which is like a, from the Sara Dancer. Uh, that is also pretty good, uh, but like I like more uh, this variant of. Uh, winter is coming uh, variant of uh, the dark blue because I was used to uh, uh, like uh, having uh, themes for the winter is coming uh, that is like a dark theme uh, let me show you that also so that is the this one like it is also a pretty good one and uh, uh, like it's uh, very good in, in terms of like the theme then there are a couple of uh, other uh, themes which uh, i okay, uh, occasionally use one of them is uh, cobalt 2 like it is uh, the theme from the web os itself like a lot and lots of people are using it and i also use it sometimes because like it is a pretty good theme and uh, another uh, one of the my favorite theme is uh, the Darkula, <coughs> which is like a anytime favorite. Uh, so if I don't know um, uh, like which theme I wanted to use, like I simply choose this, this theme and started working on it, uh, and I get into it uh, my developer zone. So. That is the coolest theme I I know. There are like couple of other themes also, like uh, one dark pro, but uh, uh, like that is uh, one of the top rated themes uh, in the uh, market. But uh, I I personally I don't like it. Uh, it is there is no reason for not liking it. But I like, uh, I think like there are like lots of red things there. So that's why I don't like, but like it is also a pretty good thing. And you should definitely try there. And uh, there are like couple of other things also. Uh, that is uh, also pretty good. So uh, my recommendation would be like uh, go to Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code Marketplace. and go to the themes section here from here you can go to theme section and there you have tons of themes and like you can sort it and you can uh, <coughs> like you can uh, uh, also browse by the dates so here you can see like there are lots of like this is the categories one and you can sort it by download you can uh like uh, sorted by publish uh, like trending themes so here you can see like there is a one dark pro there there is material is also a good thing uh, then this is the one which i am using and winter is coming uh, also like uh, there are a couple of adjustment uh, monkai pro is also good uh, also there are a couple of adjustment which i made I'm going to show you that also here you can see like there are a couple of places there is a italic version so what I did is like I found it from uh, 
uh, the Visual Studio setting that you can make uh, some of the keywords and other stuffs italic. Uh, so that is what I have done. Uh, so here you can see like couple of things I have made it to italic. And there are a couple of things which I don't like to be italic. Then it, it, it is uh, uh, going to be normal one. So that is the one thing. Uh, and there are a couple of uh, other things which I wanted to show. Basically, I I use Pira code, uh, which is a free open source font, and it also supports ligatures. So here you can see, like this is the Pira code form. From here you can download that. Uh, don't worry about the links and all other stuff. I will put links of each thing into the video description itself. So that is also I have done, and you can enable uh, ligatures. Like uh, via editor dot font ligatures is equal to true. And this is the things uh, which is like a, this, are, this are the exclude folders part, which is I am not, uh, I don't want that to see uh, those things in my, uh, this part, explorer part. And uh, as I told you, like, uh, I am mostly like uh, putting this bar into the right. Uh, and that is uh, from here you can uh, do this like move side by left and from here you can also toggle uh, these to move side by to right i i i put uh, this sidebar as a right side uh, that is i got from that is a tip from i got from bark uh, uh, bark is the guy who do vs code can do that videos and like the basic reason for it is like here on the this side you get lots of stuffs there and uh, like if you put the sidebar on the left side again uh, your code will be uh, let me show you that So if I do control B to close it like then your code will move from uh, left to right and right to left but when you move on uh, this uh, this to right then on the left side your code will be there and you will have only this effect so that is pretty good for your eyes and other stuffs so it is the one thing which I wanted to highlight and uh, there are like couple of other things which i have done like i have disabled the uh, mini bar because i don't like i wanted to save this space and as i told you i have already done font ligatures so don't worry about all these steps uh, i will put all these steps on my video description as well as the uh, uh git uh, stuff so that is all i just wanted to show you uh, do try the Fira code font. Uh, there are a couple of other paid fonts uh, also, like which I wanted to like to mention, but I don't like paying for uh, that font because, like, I don't have, don't wanted to pay forty dollars for the font. But like, this is also like a pretty good uh, uh, font, like bank mono. Then there is a <coughs> operator mono also is there. Okay, so these two are pretty good uh, uh, programming font, but like that is paid one and I wanted to use the free one Then this is the like pretty good uh, options available there. So um, That's it uh, guys uh, This is the things uh, I just wanted to demo you because like I have got when I put it my picture of uh, team on the Instagram I got lots of DMs about the how stuffs and everything works so I tried to create a video there and see like what are the things which I am using 
so if you don't have subscribed to my channel code with jvd and i would encourage you to subscribe to my channel because like that gives me motivation to create these kind of videos as well as like it give me uh, like uh, you will never update a, uh, like you will never miss a update from me uh, and uh, that is more important so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, i will put all these things into video description so please do also review the video subscript uh, description after watching this video thank you very much and uh, stay tuned, uh, tuned on my channel and click on the bell icon uh, like you will get more things uh, related to like lots of content uh, as well as the some of the back end things also thank you Thanks for watching.